Hi, in this video, I show you how to animate an outline mask in Swift UI. We are going to recreate the sun and moon animation of Yahoo Weather. The actual animation can be found from the Yahoo Weather website. I can change the location and select something like this one. This is the actual animation we are going to recreate in Swift UI. Let's begin with how the interface is constructed. Let's begin with the semicircle along which the sun moves. In the trim modifier, if I remove this and change it to zero, you can see this is a complete circle. If I go to the stroke and comment the code, we have also added the fill. I created a complete circle, turn it into a stroke and use the trim modifier to cut half of the circle. Next, we have the sun icon. This is an SF symbol. Over here, we can search for sun. We can select any of these to replace the sun. For example, sun.min. You can see we have changed the sun icon. Let's go to the rectangle that animates inside the semicircle. You can see over here, this is a rectangle having a width of 300 and height 150. I have masked the rectangle with a circle. So if we come here and comment the clip shape, you can see over here, we have now refilled the mask. I'm going to press Command C to undo the change. Let's see how the animation is done, starting with the sun's animation. You can see from here the sun is moving along the circular path. To make that happen, we put the offset above the rotation effect. If I comment the offset, you can see the sun is rotating at the center of the screen. If we remove the offset and position that below the rotation effect, we have moved the X position by minus 150 and now the sun is rotating at a static position which is 150 from the left of the center so to make the sun move along this circular path we put the offset above the rotation effect so that it is going to move along the diameter of this circle which is just above the image next let's go to the animation that scales the rectangle inside the circle. In order to create the rectangle animation, we mask the rectangle with a circle and then animate only the X property of the scale effect in order to achieve this animation. When the animation starts, we are scaling the rectangle from 0 to 0 0.9. If I change this value, to something like 2 and also remove the mask you can see the rectangle scales to the edge of the screen I'll press command C to undo the change and change this value back to 0 0.9 with this I'm going to end here and thanks for watching